it's 5.55 and I just left Hiker Town and I'm heading out into the Mojave Desert. <coughs> Sun is uh, just coming up. <coughs> it's windy, but that's why there's a wind farm out here. It's 24 miles, I thought, to the first water cache, and then this morning I was asking some folks how much water they're taking. And found out that there's a water cache about 18 miles, and so that's knocked off a couple liters of water for me and helped me lighten my pack. This morning I also I ditched all my food except for uh, uh, two days worth, two, two plus. So it was hard to throw away a couple Snickers, but those things are heavy and some other things. But I really have to get the weight down. Even though today is mostly flat uh, through the desert, at the very end where the next water source is at 24, it's a couple thousand feet elevation uh, ascent. So that's kind of a tough way to end a day. I've only done a 23, I've never done 24 miles. I don't know that I'm gonna do it today either. Especially with uh, all that elevation gain at the last couple miles. So I'll just play it by ear. Anyway, so this is the Mojave Desert coming up. Heard so much about. But the weather has been on the cool side lately and I hope that's in my favor. I, it'll take a few days to get back to normal heat and so I'd like to uh, get through this flat section uh, without uh, the heat that's uh, due to come eventually. Since when is a desert covered with tumbleweeds? This don't look like no desert to me. Of it. This is the Los Angeles Aqueduct. All those thirsty Los Angeles County folks. It's nice and flat. Good, good hard tread here. Maybe I can make some time. It's a hot one. I mean, this sun is something else. It's out in full force. This Mojave Desert. It's everything they said. Brutal heat. It must be 150 degrees out here. My balls feel like they're melting. A little while ago, my hair burst into flames. It's just unreal it's like opening an oven door to check on your cornbread and then that heat hits you let me just verify i got my thermometer here wait a minute what the hell okay it's only 60. <clears throat> So saying goodbye to the open flowing aqueduct, there's a big pipe coming out of those mountains. Pacific Crest Trail, I've got, uh, I'm crossing some private land, okay. So, up to this gate. There's a homemade PCT sign telling me
and here's the pipe, the aqueduct. And now I walk on this for a while. Seems like I could just walk on that road, you know? Why would I walk on this? Instead of walking the aqueduct, I'm walking the service road next to it. The tread is better, it's easier to walk. Taking a break from the aqueduct have a little bite to eat and get something to drink. <coughs> I've been out here almost two hours. Um, as the sun gets higher, there's going to be less shade. There's just a little bit here in, yeah, next to this bush. Um, but it's a good time to mention that when you're hiking, uh, how important nutrition, keeping hydrated, and electrolytes are, especially in a desert environment uh, like the Mojave. And that's why I'm going to be drinking this big-ass Mountain Dew. Damn, that's good. And to go with it, I've got, I found this leftover honey bun. This kind of just a big old solid gooey thing. I, that's good. That's good. Now this Mountain Dew here, 2015, that was a good year for Mountain Dew, actually. Mountain Dew is more consistent than wine. Every year is a good year for Mountain Dew. But it's a rich bouquet. I'm smelling oak. Something oaky. Um, what is that? A little like Nebraska dirt smell. Earthy, an earthy smell from... And... Surprisingly, potpourri. Here comes a car, and it doesn't sound like it's doing very well. Check it out. It's a six cylinder pickup running on four cylinders. Today's different in that I'm in a valley and it includes the Mojave Desert. Uh, there are five transverse mountain ranges that you start off with on the PCT and that's what I've spent my whole time in. The, the Laguna Mountain Range, San Jacinto, San Bernardino, San Gabriel, and that's all those mountain ranges there. And over here I'm crossing over this corner of the valley to get up into the Tehachapis, which head off that way, and then they connect up to the Sierra. In a few years, this part will be gone, the valley part, because they've uh, got the rights to continue the PCT up the mountain range there, all the way up, staying in the mountains, up into the Tehachapis, and then followed the Hatchapees all the way to the Sierra. So they've, it's, this part here really wasn't part of the original plan uh, for the PCT to go th across this valley because it is the Pacific Crest Trail. 
Walking through the Mojave Desert on Mother's Day. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I found a little bit of shade here in this ramp. And it won't be here for long, but long enough for me. Looking at my mileage, I've just about hit the 10 mile mark. So if I round up a little bit, then I can say I've done 10 by 10. I've been hearing that phrase, 10 miles by 10 o'clock. And I was hoping I would hit it. So, like I say, if I round up just a little, a couple tenths of a mile, I've made 10 miles by 10 o'clock. And I keep stopping to do <coughs> videos and stuff, so that's slowing me down. Uh, it's getting warm. I guess it's supposed to be mid-80s today, but uh, and it feels hot out there. But, you know, I can't complain because I know it's going to be even hotter for the folks that come after me. And we just had that big, cool air mass come through Southern California with snow and ice storms. So it hasn't really had a chance to heat back up. So I'm glad I'm going to get through today. Even though it's pretty warm, um, it'll be worse uh, much worse for the other folk. Started the day off by breaking my glasses. What a bummer. Apparently I sat on them or something like that. So I tried to bend them back into shape and doink, the lens fell out because I broke the frame. But I got a backup pair of glasses. You can't see because I'm wearing my birth control glasses, sunglasses over top of them. I'm not drinking, I'm not drinking Mountain Dew anymore. I'm uh, underwater and I've added a little bit of flavoring, but more importantly, I've added a noon tablet. They're electrolytes, you know, you know like Gatorade. Noon is in U U N. There's another popular one called Emergen C. Emergency electrolytes with vitamin C. Some have some of these have calories. Some of them don't. Basically, you just uh, you need water out here, obviously, but you do need the electrolytes too. When it's so dry like this, you could be sweating like crazy, but you don't know it because it evaporates immediately, and which is good because it you know keeps your body cool. Um, but anyway, so I'll put this. I'll do a couple of these noon tablets today. I just did half of one. I'll do some more later and just sort of spread it out. Make sure I get plenty of water and plenty of electrolytes. I have another seven miles to go to my first water source. I can't remember if that's Cottonwood or what the name of it is, but it's apparently the guy who, it's a water cache uh, done by Bob over there at Hikertown. It's funny the information you pick up at the last minute. Because last night we were all talking, people talking about, yeah, we got to go 24 miles for water, but 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 yada, yada, yada. And so I'm thinking six liters. Got to, because the last several miles are a steep uphill and 24 miles, holy mackerel. Then this morning, just by chance, I asked somebody, what are you taking? And then she said, two and a half, two and a half liters for 24 miles. She goes, no, there's a water cache at... Cotton was 17 miles from here. Bob's maintaining it. I said, how much? Oh, a big, big old barrel or thing of water, whatever. Just topped it off the other day. Well, what a huge difference that made. So I cut my water in half. I went down to three liters and, and plus that Mountain Dew. And so that's helped me carry seven less pounds uh, today. Plus, I was throwing away all kinds of food. I threw away Snickers. I was throwing away handfuls of Fritos measuring three tortillas. Who does that? But I was trying to get down, get rid of every bit of food that I don't need uh, to get the weight down through this uh, desert portion. And then uh, so I can hopefully get on into uh, Mojave in good shape. Okay, it's getting hot out here. So what? I can handle it. Spent six months in the 
Sahara Desert, United Nations. That's right. This ain't nothing. Mojave. I can handle it. Bring it on! Is it off? Oh my god, it's hot out here. What the heck? This is like the worst road ever. It's a pole in the middle of the road. Apparently I'm not walking on a road. Otherwise they wouldn't put a big concrete structure like this on top. The road is next to me and I'm still on the aqueduct. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day get-togethers. Mother's Day brunches. Mother's Day family cookouts. I sense that that is going on all over the United States right now. Except here in the Mojave Desert where I am having tortilla and peanut butter with grape Kool-Aid flavored warm water with a noon tablet in there and a few, few Fritos. I have, I was just looking at my app. I've come 530 miles. 530 mile markers right here. Right over here. That means 20% on the nose of the PCT. Right? Right. 20% at this this is like the only tree I've seen, and I got it. Help! 